Well, it's a chilly 20 degrees here in Louisville, Kentucky, and I hope you have all your checks done in your boiler room. Today we're going to talk with Jeff Bartol, Boiler University instructor, on the slow low water cutoff test. Today we want to talk about a slow low water cutoff test. As you normally do your low water cutoff test, you'd have your burner running, you'd be at a reduced firing rate, less than 50% to low fire. You would open up your blowdown valve, your burner should shut off. Burner shuts off, you close your blowdown valve, you let the water level come back up to normal, the burner restarts and you start again. You've tested your low water cutoff. The slow low water cutoff test, what it does is helps determine there's nothing wrong with your low water cutoff safety. When you're opening this valve and you're forcing that steam of water down through the float assembly, uh, it will work most of the time, unless it just broke off. Whenever you're doing a slow low water cutoff test, what you're doing is you're going to let the water fall at a normal failure rate. So if you had your normal water level in your boiler, with your burner running less than 50% to low fire, you're still producing some steam. You would go and you would shut off your pump. Once you shut off your pump, stopping the flow of water to the boiler, then, then you would let the water level fall, fall naturally. What it will do is it'll just steady keep dropping, dropping, because you're not replacing any of it. Once you get the burner shut off or if the water level gets to the bottom of the sight glass, at that point you would turn your pump back on, you would get the water going back to the boiler, and then you have the question of where was it going to shut off at. Uh, most of the time your manufacturers will have the sight glass where your water level will be shown while you're still uh, able to see that your low water cutoff is working. Sometimes that's not the case. At that point, then you need to investigate why that is. Is the sight glass at the wrong position? Uh, it can be changed if need be. Uh, or are you truly having a problem? So at that point, it would be time to call somebody in and check that, that the low, slow low water cutoff test failed at least to this point till we have an answer. Okay, keep in mind we're doing these low water cutoff tests because we don't want the boiler to operate in a low water condition. So whether we're doing the regular low water cutoff test or whether we're doing the slow low water cutoff test, at the end of the test we want to bring the water back up to normal operating level as soon as we can like right now. Uh, we don't want to run a boiler in a low water condition because that could create circumstances for a boiler explosion. Uh, also in this, You'll find that there's some governing bodies you may have to deal with, such as an insurance company or an inspector, uh, that may request you doing a slow, low water cutoff test. That's why we did the video, so you could see and compare to what's different than what you're now doing. Well, I appreciate Jeff stopping by and giving us that great, useful tip for our boiler room. Now, speaking of Jeff and the Boiler University, in 2017, we've got 11 dates if you would click right here, you can check out all the dates in 2017 for our Boiler University. Also, come by and see me at PowerGen next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're at booth 3022. Come by and get you a great t-shirt. Well, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you don't mind, maybe share a video. Do it! Ugh, it doesn't work! <laughs>